It's another building challenge day. What happened to my nose? <laughs> Hello. Hello there. So today I decided why not try and do another block break building challenge. Now, I have a tendency to do like a one by one house, a two by two house, a three by three house. I've done videos for all of that. But instead of it being a house this time, I'm going to do a four by four, but it's going to be a little little bakery i think that's what i have planned i started this video already working on a house like a four by four house but i'm like hmm this looks better as a cafe so i'm gonna do that today <laughs> let me just let me just change my video plans okay you're not gonna see what i was doing maybe i may include it just for fun this feels like a small little cafe i could just make why don't i do that okay you know what we're not doing a house <laughs> we're not doing a house hold on Hold on. What a great introduction. All right. So yes, a four by four basically just looks like this. It's a perfect square. I mean, any same numbers are going to form a square, five by five, six by six, whatever. We cannot extend further than this size, obviously, as the part of the challenge. Exterior really doesn't count, though. If As long as you're not making like an entire room outside of this, then you're good. So if you wanted to make like a little seating area, that's completely fine. Um, but yeah, the second level, I think I had something going on here. You might see that in the, the clip I thought I was gonna edit out but this is what I'm gonna work with okay now we're gonna do a I think we'll just do a simple gable roof of course with detailing this could look a little bit better than this because right now this is plain but told myself to not judge my builds until I started building quite a bit more I need to build a lot more I need to build a lot more before judging it and I think that's a very important lesson for anyone building like you cannot judge your build as soon as you start it right you gotta yeah make a bit of progress and then judge it because putting one wall down putting a couple walls down you can't really be like ew but I mean I guess you could <laughs> I guess you could be like ew as someone who's battling like building like a building like either if it's a building block or like low self-confidence with building just make some progress and then judge it later judgy okay anyways moving on to this cafe build i'm definitely going to do outdoor seating because we are not fitting well maybe i could do some like bar seating next to the windows or something i need to figure that out you know i don't use this fence very often and i think sometimes maybe it's for a very good reason that i didn't use this but I'm sure if we color and texture it differently, it looks really good. I don't know. I want to try and use more. <gasps> Ooh. You know, this fence could work really well for like nature themed builds. I don't know. Like you could do a lot of naturey, 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 nature like things with this fence. I can already see it. Put like a little vine or something on that somehow. I think it's just a tall building. There's nothing on the second floor. It's just going to be a tall building. Does that look weird? Should I put like the umbrella inside the table? Hold on, let me let me put this in the table. There we go. Does that look better? Can you rescale these ones? You can't rescale them. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? I I don't know what theme I'm going for. Whatever comes out of this, then you can kind of figure it out. I I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna go for. As you can tell, I'm kind of getting tired of like just regular straight paths. I do them a lot anyways, so I just kind of want to switch it up a bit. Never mind. This is still a straight path. Man, how do you actually approach this? Let's get a tree. Let's get some trees. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. I need to put some slate down. Put some slate. I'm surprised I didn't do that first. Love me some slate texture. I should practice my pathing a bit more, but this is okay for now. All right. Okay, let's get some chairs for these tables now. They just have umbrellas in them. There's no seating. Hold on. Patio chairs. All right. We're using some different furniture now. I think just three chairs per table. Maybe this one has four. Actually, maybe all of them have four. That's a lot of seating for a small place. Maybe just two sets of tables. Um, lilies we need let's just grab a couple of flower different flowers like lilies there's tulips um i don't think i want to add a sun oh i don't know if i want to add a sunflower i'm just grab it anyways that's a good idea grab all of the things you would possibly need figure out yeah <gasps> oh a pergola would look really good here as well you know and we can actually rescale it to fit this place. But the umbrella, you know, what's the point of the umbrella? I'm gonna just keep it open. Someone's been asking me to do a challenge where I have to rescale everything. I might do that, but we have to find only the items that can be rescaled, right? So uh, I don't want to make a sign either. I'm too lazy to make a sign for this. <laughs> I'm too lazy to make a sign. That involves me going into Photoshop and coming up with like a really quick... I need to become a florist. I need to like research florist stuff because I need to figure out which flowers can really go best together. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, it's simple. It's very simple. You know what? I like the simple feel of this bakery. It's very simple. Not too luxurious, but it's very simple. Some people just like that. Some people like simple things. Okay. What is this here? There will be no sign for this bakery. It's just going to be a nameless bakery. Maybe it's just like that local no-named bakery. There should be a name though. 
There has to be a name. Now, why do I want to make another, like, gable roof coming from here? I think I will. I'm going to try it. By the way, if you're ever doing, like, roof trimming or anything, or something that involves, like, placing these structurals, like, in different, like, angles and stuff, if you hold down shift on your keyboard, if you're on the computer, this only works with computer. I don't know if you can do it on mobile, but if you hold shift on your keyboard and you place this down, it'll automatically start the next one. This has been a known thing for a while now. They did this a long time ago, but in case anyone needed to know, there you go. I kind of, I'm kind of vibing with it, okay? But hold on, wait a second. What if I had, like, moved this out, you know? What if I moved this out, like, here? Oh my gosh, why didn't I just do this? Silly me. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Okay, don't worry about the exterior stuff. It's still a 4x4, but I'm adding, um, just, uh, just decoration stuff. Okay, I'm adding some cosmetic stuff. The slanter roof is purely cosmetic. There's nothing going on out here. I want to add something to the back of this build because the back is very flat. I only like, I like to do these little bump out thingies, like these slanted things. It has no purpose. It's just so the back piece doesn't look boring, but it's still a four by four or metal roof. I do like a metal roof or what about a log? I don't know. We could do log, log, ooh, log. Why does that look like a house? It looks like a house. It's too much like a house. It, how is this a bakery? I like it though. What happened to those structures that I just did? Did I, did I get rid of those? Because those structures were kind of... Oh, they're still here. <laughs> they're still here. They're still here. We'll put their pot of plant right here, though. I don't know. Maybe the owner. <gasps> you can make it thicker, too? What, what was this? Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay, I don't think I'm using this very well, but you know. Interesting. Super interest. Yes! What if I place these? Change the color to like... Ooh, I kind of like the... I like the cloudy gray plants. It looks dead, though, doesn't it? Does it look dead? What colors are these? These are sand green, right? It was. It was the sand green. All right. You know, that is the thumbnail right here. That's the thumbnail of the bakery. Has no name, though. There's no name for it. It's a local bakery that has no name. That's the story behind it. They didn't want a name. They're like, um... They want to be mysterious. That's why they didn't want a name for their bakery. Any excuse for me to not come up with a, a sign and a name of this bakery? Okay, you guys can decide the name of this bakery. How about that? That seems a lot better. Because I don't feel like doing it, so you guys can name this bakery. It could be anything. We're going to add one of those sinks. It's a commercial sink, but I like using it as like a farmhouse type of thing. Yes, the sink will be right next to the stove. Very smart idea. Better than the stove being next to the fridge, right? I might, yeah, yeah. Would you actually put a sink right next to the stove in way like you don't want to put a stove next to the fridge? Hold on, wait a second. Maybe not like a stove stove. How about like, how about these commercial ovens instead? That that would be better. Okay, not gonna lie. I wish they like make better, made better looking display stands or display cases. I'm sure you can make them. Ugh, you could custom make them yourself a lot better. But I don't want to, I don't want to custom build either today. The counters and these display cases always have like issues with each other. They just cannot coexist. They're always like, um, oh, there we go. Oh, that looks fine. Okay. I need a cash register, obviously, because like, how is this a business without a cash register here? You know what we should also have? Instead of just having like these old fashioned cash registers, which, you know, some places obviously, most places still use them, but we should have those digital cash registers too. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can build hack that as well. Tablet for the, for like a cash register or something. They should do that. That'd be great. So I might use horizontal planks as a flooring. That could be fine, right? Oh, it's cute. It's kind of it's kind of cute we don't need cabinets right cabinets aren't a thing okay let's grab some more plants maybe they could have like smoothies in here too so i'll have a blender just in case so, like sweets all the milkshakes and stuff i'll have a kettle um uh, and i'll put a toaster down here <laughs> underneath the sink <laughs> Okay, I'll do that. Yep, that's great. Okay, they're gonna need a pen cup to like write things down and I think a phone because they should take like, orders from the phone. Okay, I actually kind of like this as a flooring. Can you like overlap it and it'll give you like an interesting texture? I want to see. <gasps> oh, what is that? Whoa, that looks like cartoony now. It looks like give me Bendy and the ink machine. <laughs> I don't know what these comparisons are. Okay, you know what? This interior could be like super plain. It could be the most basic thing ever. I feel like it's that's what's gonna happen. I want to do those floating ones, but we since we have like, I mean, I could extend like the sign from up here, right? Okay, I think I might do some basic shape stuff. I'm gonna do some basic shape stuff. Okay, I need to make like those floating menus. Can I put a sign on and transform it? I probably can't, right? Okay, this stays on it, so that's nice. Can you transform it? <gasps> you can, oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Wait, that's nice. That's very nice. It's a floating sign. Don't worry, I'm gonna add some support to it. I just wanna like... You know. <laughs> I hate it. These counters and display cases do not coexist. They can't coexist either. 
They just can't. Hey, that's that's cute. It's pretty cute. All right. Okay. You know, I might as well just like. Okay, I'm gonna put this on top. Hold on, I'm gonna put this on top, and then we just kind of extend this, I guess, all the way to the ceiling. It was like floating from the ceiling. Okay, nice. Ye sure, that works. That works perfectly fine. Yes. All right. Nice. Our menu is set. Oh, it's so much better. When you start filling up a room with all these like cluttered things and such, it actually, it's just, it does so much. All the little things make quite a huge difference. Set up. Okay, you know what? I think I'm done. I think that's all I actually want to do. It's very simple. It's like, I don't know if you say minimalistic, but it's pretty simple. It's a very simple build. And I think landscaping wise, I'll just put another couple more of these rough cypress trees around. Just, that's good. That's fine. I think I'm done. I don't want to do anything else. I quit. All right, cool. All right, guys, our four by four cafe or our four by four bakery is complete. <laughs> My water bottle. It's complete, so we have some outdoor seating. So if you want to just eat your baked goods out here, you can. Uh, and then if we go to the actual building itself, here's actually a, a 360 of it. So it really does look like a house, but there are those. That looks weird. Restaurants and stuff. It's fine. But so there's that. I just realized there's a check mark. Oh, there's a check mark next to my name. Okay, see, if there's anyone impersonating me out there, just know, look at the player list. And if there's a check mark right there, okay, there's only a star and a check mark. Then that's me. That's me. I only have these things. If there's anyone else pretending to be me. Anyways, here's the bakery. Let's go to the inside. Did I put this door on backwards? <laughs> I think I did. Well, honestly, it kind of fits better swinging that way, right? I think it would be better. So let me just hide that. No, it has to be like this. No, wait. I don't know. No, that's fine. No, that's perfectly fine. All right, you go on in. And here it is, just a very small bakery. A four by four um, has everything needed for a bakery. Um, let, me put, let me put like a couple of, let me put a couple of like New Year's cakes or something. Cupcakes, let's get a couple cupcakes. Snowflake, uh, heart cupcakes, yes. We have seasonal, all the seasonal goods here. All the seasonal baked goods, yes. Obviously this will look 10 times better with all of the baked goods in the display cases. So we'll just have the, the cake display stocked up though. That's all good. I can't put this tray down. There's no button to put it away. How do I do that? Do I have to, there we go. I fixed it. Okay, great. But yeah, this is pretty much the bakery. It's just nothing too crazy. Definitely one of my more simplest builds. Floating sign though, let me see. That's okay, that's fine, right? <laughs> but yeah, anyway guys, that pretty much wraps up today's block work episode. If you guys enjoyed it, you found it interesting, inspiring, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. Let me know what other build challenges you would like to see me do in the comments down below. And yeah, thanks for taking the time out to watch this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. I don't know what the plan was for this, but I, I, I think it's, okay. it's good, it's fine. It's a cute bakery.